Hello everyone, this is Helen H. and welcome to my channel, Moss Cottage. I hope you all are doing well. Today I thought that I would do a page in my prayer journal. And guys, this is something that uh, the scripture I'm going to share with you is kind of an odd one. Uh, it slipped by me before, but my pastor brought it to uh, my attention through um, a Bible study we're doing and what we do at um, what he does is uh, for one of the Bible studies the one that I take um, we share uh, we divide up teaching the the lessons like we, we have something and each week somebody does some presenting so we're doing bold prayers right now and he did show me where um, show me your glory where Moses said show me your glory on the mountain and I've got the bold prayer of strengthen me so with strengthen me the story that he wanted us to focus on was the story of Samuel and uh, oh, sorry not Samuel Samson and it's found in Judges and we all know the story well most of us know the story of Samson and Delilah Samson was a Nazarene uh, he was he had taken a Nazarene vow to serve the Lord all his life, and if you read his short history, uh, he did mostly serving himself, <laughs> especially helping himself to the ladies. Um, and you know we can we can critique him for that and say you know what was he thinking? You know he fell for one woman after another, and they were all bad for him. Uh, his addiction to women is no worse than my addiction for anything chocolate. <laughs> so we all have our vices, right? But anyway, so if you know the story of Samson and Delilah, Delilah actually finds out where Samson's strength comes from, and it comes from his hair. So when his hair was cut off, um, and that plays into being a Nazarite, uh, because when you when you take the Nazarene vow, you never the men never shave their ha heads for their whole life. Well, she found out that his strength was coming through his hair because he told her that, and she shaved. She had uh, Philistines who were their enemies shave it off, and he lost his power. Then they put his eyes out and um, made him work in a mill, uh, like in a grinding mill. Um, and the reason they did that was because Samson had killed many, many Philistines. He was their enemy. And Delilah was working for them for money. Um, the Philistines told her if she could find out how Samson could be brought low, then they would pay her all this silver. And she had absolutely no loyalty to Samson, so she sold him out. And his hair got cut, and he lost his power and became a slave to the Philistines. Okay, that's the short story right there. After it says that, um, it says, Then the Philistines took him and put out his eyes and brought him down to Gaza. They bound him up with bronze fetters, which is chains, and he became a grinder in the prison. This is the verse right here that my pastor had highlighted for, um, for uh, us to pay attention to, and it's verse uh, Judges 16, verse 22. However, the hair of his head began to grow again, after it had been shaven. Now you think, so what's the big deal about that? Well, Samson's strength came from his hair through the Lord. He was less than faithful to the Lord. He he was one of the judges. He was, the, I believe, the last judge. But he philandered with women and did was very self-centered and did all these things to displease the Lord, and the Lord brought him low. But then the hair of his head began to grow again. So basically what I'm believing there, because when you go on to read the, the rest of the story, Samson is actually able to kill a lot more Philistines while he himself dies. He, he commits suicide, but he takes about 3,000 Philistines with him. But about his hair growing again, that's God's second chance. That is God giving him a second chance. He regrew his hair. He regrew his strength so he could do this last task to glorify God. How does killing 3,000 people glorify God? These were people who worshipped false gods. They worshipped Dagon. Uh, and, um, you know, our God is a jealous God, and he's not going to let worship of false gods go. But he gave Samson glory in letting his hair grow back so he had enough strength to to perform this last task and now Samson is in Hebrews 11 
uh, where it lists all the people who did great things in the Old Testament. Samson is in there. So anyway, so I was thinking second chances is really what that verse is all about. Uh, God gives us second chances, and thankfully in my life he gives me second, third, fourth <laughs> chances, and many more because, you know, I'm not all that in a bag of chips. But anyway, I thought I would make a spread in on this these two pages right here. Okay, I think this is like some kind of coloring page here, and this is from a needlepoint book uh, right here. And I already picked out some papers and stuff to use so that you wouldn't have to sit in agony with me choosing. Um, so um, I'm just going to get to some gluing here. I have this piece of magazine, and you see it's, I think it was just a wool blanket, the part of a wool blanket. And I really, really like using textured um, things in magazines like um, uh, pillows, rugs, blankets, stuff like that. If you tear the pieces out, they don't necessarily even look like what they are. Like you don't, you wouldn't necessarily have to color cu cut the pillow out, pillow shape, but you could get some of it so that it you just have that texture. So. Um, I love them, so don't don't overlook that. And especially if you have like a source for free magazines or something, don't overlook the home and garden ones because besides the um, textures, you can also get nice nice flowers and things like that. Okay, so what I've done, see, I've glued that blanket or whatever it is to cover a little bit of the the uh, embroidery, but not a lot. Now I have this beautiful lady here. And she came out of a Somerset magazine. She's not my own artwork. She came out of a Somerset magazine. So I'm going to glue, oh, I'm going to glue her on. But behind her, I want to glue this. Now this is just, it looks to me like a, is that macrame trivet? Maybe macrame, but it's just like, like a trivet. And I wanted to glue that kind of behind her head to look like a halo, like this. So I need to figure out where that's going to go. If she's going to go to the bottom of the page, that needs to go right here. So I need to, let me just grab my little pencil here. I'm going to make a light mark. It, she'll cover it so it won't matter, but I need to know where to put that. And it's important, you'll see why it's important that um, I get it exactly where it's supposed to be or where I want it to be. So anyway, I don't know if you can see. All I'm doing over here is glowing here. So I'm sorry if you can't see this. Um, I try to bring the camera a little closer so that you can see more of what I'm working on instead of having it so far away. Okay, so I'm, oops, well, yeah, no, that's good enough. Okay, so I'm going to just put that there for now, and I made a mistake by gluing all the way to the end. So what I'm going to do, I kind of wanted to, because that's sticking off the edge there, I kind of wanted to make a tab with it, and I have this oval that I cut out. I cut out a bunch of these ovals because I was making something for Christmas crafting for my shows, and I had some of these ovals left over. So I thought this oval would be kind of a cool back to this trivet or whatever this thing is. I think it's. I think it would be classified a trivet. So what I'm going to do is just line it up with that in the back. Okay, that's not very lined up, Helen, because you can see way too much of it in the front here. Okay, like that. Okay, so that's good. I want to stay in frame here. All right, so this is this is the back page here. And see, it's the other side of this needlework, the same needlework thing. And see how this is like a little bit over here? I'll trim that when I do the other side or later when it dries. But right now, I just wanted to get that down like that, okay? So here's my tab, and now it's nice and sturdy because I put that behind it, okay? So that's that. Now we've got our beautiful lady here. So we want to, let me just uh, grab a clean piece of paper. Sorry for the crinkling. I, I just don't um, know how people can use glue sticks and not get so gluey. I get covered with glue, and I don't know how that happens. Uh, maybe I need to watch some of my video. Well, like right now, I'm putting my finger right in the glue, or two of my fingers right in the glue. Helen, that's a clue right there. <laughs> All right, so let's put her down. She's got such a wistful look on her face. I love the, I love the look of her face. And I, I ha have a feeling that... 
Let me just let me just move her up a tiny bit like that. I have a feeling that she is actually a famous painter, like one of the old painters' paintings, and someone just put the flowers in her hair and used her in a piece of their art. But I just cut that out of the whole thing out of the Somerset magazine. So there it looks kind of like she has a, a halo there. All right, now on this page, so this is the page where I would write my prayer about getting that second chance. So I've got this pattern here. I'm gonna to have to cover it up. So I thought what I would do is put some papers like this so that I'd have right space to write my prayer. But before I, let's see, do I wanna do it before or after? Mm, no, I'll do it after. Let me go ahead and glue these down. I was gonna say, I want to play with some washi tape. I haven't used washi tape for a long time, and I have so many beautiful washi tapes that to use, and I just forget to use them. So I really wanted to use some today. So I'm just gonna go ahead, and it doesn't matter if some of this black is showing because I'll be covering that perhaps with washi tape or just border strips as I do in my prayer journals. Okay, I hope you can see that. And then this is just a piece of um, scrap of paper that's two-sided. So I'm just gonna go ahead and not use the script side so that I can write on the other side. Oh, you see me here, sorry. All right, let me just put this on. And I was just going to put that there. I kind of like the look of the two different kind, tones of paper. One's a little bit darker than the other. Okay, whoops. Let's get that corner down. All right, so this is going to be where I write my prayer here. And I do have one tiny little gap here. Oh, look, I have this. this I got this out of the trash yesterday. It's just a piece of uh, writing paper that was at the edge of the tablet and where I was running it uh, tearing them all out it um, when I was tearing them all out they all kind of clumped together I couldn't I couldn't get to the very edge of the book if that makes any sense and so I had a whole bunch of these just little strips that okay so now I've got this okay now so this is where why won't this stick down this is very annoying stick down Oh, oh, now it's stuck to me. Oh, for crying out loud. Let me, okay, big reach behind me here because once again, I started a video <laughs> using glue without getting a wet wipe. Okay, now I have my wet wipe. Okay, so let me make sure you can see this. So I'm going to put that there. Then I think what I'm going to do, I have this these pieces here that I'd really like to put on here just to pull some of the color from here over here because this is kind of boring. This right here is a beautiful piece. Can you see that pattern? This is what I'm talking about. This right here was is a carpet. This came out of a book and it was a piece of a carpet. So I really like that as a border piece. So I'm going to put that on. And um, so while I'm gluing this, I just want to say I'm so glad that God is the the God of second, third, fourth, fifth chances. There's nothing that we can do that will turn him away from us. He will always be there for us if we want him to be. He's not ever going to force himself on us. He's not going to make us love him. He's not going to make us worship him. And we'll we'll uh, have the consequences of that when we when we die but in this world he's not going to force himself on us but he will always be available to us and some of the the greatest people in the bible or the the people that uh did great things for him were what we would consider some of the biggest sinners uh you know we rate people rate other people's sin um but sin is sin so um we shouldn't be doing that now i want to leave room for the prayer I guess it's okay that I have that that little piece there. And I was thinking of maybe putting something like that. Well, let's put that down. Like this. And this piece that I just stuck down, let's see if I can show you here. This piece right here that I just stuck down, I think it's a pile of fabrics 
a pile of fabrics that I got out of a magazine. Another, you know, textile kind of thing. All right, so there's that. Now, I have this absolute power, and I love this because the study that I'm doing with Samson, and I'll be presenting it to the Bible study next Wednesday, is all about God's power. And so he gives us second chances to live the way he wants us to. And that is power. Uh, so I was going to put absolute power. And it, the, actually the, the Bible studies on strength in me. That's the bold, bold prayer um, that Samson asked the Lord to strengthen him. And I think I'm going to put that up like that. And that will leave me. And I this is light enough down here. This blue is light enough that if I'm writing my prayer, I can even write over that. Okay. But I want this absolute power up there. But anyway, this uh, Bible study on strengthening, asking God to strengthen you, is very fascinating what, what the Lord is showing me. Because... Before, first of all, the first thing I got out was before you um, ask God to strengthen you, you have to real, you have to humble yourself and realize you're not all that in a bag of chips, and you don't have your life together, and things do go wrong, and you do need help, and whatever. You know that was just the first little thing, but um, I'm not going to go into the whole study, but it's very fascinating. And you know, usually like stories like Samson, we just kind of go over them we don't we don't take our time with them and really study them um but there's so much in there and I'm so glad that our pastor um he doesn't call it teaching he lets he he and he doesn't teach he calls facilitating because with our bible studies we all have we all chime in and we all you know talk about what we you know what the Bible's saying to us or the message we're getting out of it or whatever he will correct us if you know we're way off course but um we all we all facilitate or we all participate let's put it that way okay so that's really that's really coming together like that I like that a lot and so there's her little tab and now I wanted to just have this it says praise him praise him this is a title from a old hymn book and I just wanted to take one of these little praise hymns right here and put it on her she's looking up so adorably um, at at uh, to this side where it says absolute power so I thought I would put oops okay, <laughs> okay y'all Shady Acres. Somebody calls Shady Acres. Helen just tried to glue without taking the top off the glue stick. All right, praise him. We're going to put that on her. Uh, we'll put it right here. We don't want to put it in an unfortunate spot, right? There's good enough. Okay. All right, so she's... I love that. I think that's so cool. Just using that... that um, trivet under her head as a halo I think is really cool. So now the last thing that I have, I've got some of these beautiful washi tapes by Simply Gilded and these were the washi tapes um, I got, to, oh gosh I don't know maybe 10 of them or so were gifted to me at the crop I went to this summer. Where did, I think this is the end. This one I, I believe I haven't used before. Um, but the the pretty thing about these ones, and I'll I'll hold it up after I put it on. Um, they have most of them have some kind of what is it foiling on them, and this one I, that I'm using trying to use here has silver and pink. And see, she's got pink on her flowers there. I had a bouquet. Oops! Oh no, I dropped it on the floor. I had a bouquet of flowers on this side that I was going to use but they were too purpley so then I thought no I need something that's that kind of that rosy pink and this is perfect this is perfect so let me come all the way up here yeah I don't care if it goes right up to that power and then I do I do want it to go a little bit over that blue there because I like I like my collage things to kind of tie things together um Let's just put a little piece down here, like this, just for no reason. And then 
I don't know, can you see that this is foiled right here? It's so pretty. It's like, it looks like almost like snowflakes that have fallen down there. And then I've got this one here, which is the same. It's thinner, but it's a deeper pink. And I thought maybe that would be pretty because of the deeper pink in her flowers over there. So I'm just going to put a piece over here. Again, it goes a little bit onto the absolute, the A of the absolute for the absolute power, but it doesn't cover it completely. And then let's put a piece of the darker one over here. Like that. Like that. And then one more piece of this. Let's go this way because I don't want the... Um, silver to be back to back. I'd rather it be on the same side. Like that. Okay. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Like that. So I think that looks really good. Oh, okay. I went way off with this one. Let me just trim that up here and then I'll show you. Now, as always, I have the right, <laughs> since it's my prayer book, to go back and add things to it. And when I do the final flip through, you'll you'll be able to see if I've added anything because I, I usually um, do add things when the camera's off. I just don't like my videos to be super long. So that's it, guys. The absolute power. Praise him for our second chances that he gives us. And I love this. And so tomorrow I will go ahead and write my prayer there in my quiet time. So that's it, folks. I hope you like this video. Please give me a thumbs up. It really does help if you... Um, like my channel, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and until the next video, guys, I hope you're all truly blessed. Bye-bye.